Um, hello, I'm Wild ICV, and in this tutorial, we're gonna I'm gonna tell you how to set up a blank bear project with um, the UDK, as well as explain some of the simple features and some of the things you can do with the UDK itself. So let's begin. First off, let's go to I just installed the UDK right here in my standard directory. Now what you're going to want to do is, if you want a blank install, you're going to want to download um, the bear package created by Alar. Um, there's a mirror at my site, deathtouchstudios.com, as well as on his site. You can find this in the master thread of the UDK forms. Now sim to install the bear minimal, it's fairly simple, you just open the zip, delete the development and the UT game folders, and copy these two over into your directory. Then, after that, you're going to want to open up the editor using the front end. So after that, it will start compiling all the shaders. Now, this is going to take a lot of time. So for now, I'm just going to use the blank, the standard UDK install. So first off, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to make, we're going to go to our UDK um, directory and make um, inside our development and source directories make our new project. So let's make a new folder and I'm going to call mine Death Touch. Okay. And inside that folder you're going to want to make two folders. One's going to be one you want to name classes. Another will name packages. I mean content, my bad. Content. Inside here you'll want to make another folder called packages. This is where we're going to keep all our content just to keep things organized. Okay, after we do that, inside classes, we want to make a file, we want to make a new text file. So you can go new, new text document, and right here, you're going to make a main.uc for Unreal Script file extension. Yes? Okay. Now open up that file inside your favorite text editor. For me, I have it opening up in Visual Studio by default. So let's wait for this to load up. Okay, here we go. So now what we're going to do is class main extends game info. Now the game info class is part of the main um, Unreal Engine. So it's separate from the UT scripts which are still, we're still unsure if they're legal to use or not in distributed game. Then what we're going to want to do is default properties, our default properties constructor. Now, the proper way to have it is like this, with um, both brackets on separate lines under default properties. If you have it like this, um, the, the Unreal Script compiler for some reason will ignore it. So just make sure to have it like this. Okay, after you're done with that, just save it, and we're done here. Now, go back to our go back to our UDK directory. Now we need to go to UT game config. Here we need to edit two files: UT game and UT, UT game .ini and UT engine .ini. So first, we're gonna modify UT game. Right here in default game and default server, we need our game to be the default. So right here, you're gonna put your mod's name. For me, it's Death Touch. Dot main. So that will reference our main script. Same thing you'll do for the default server. Touch dot main. Now, here you'll notice if you look down a bit, player controller class name. Now this, if you were to make your standard, you if you were to make a custom player control um, script, you would modify this to reflect that script. But for now, we'll just leave it alone. So save that script. Now open up UT Engine. Here in UT Engine, you'll see you'll need to scroll down for mod edit packages. Okay. There it is. Okay. In in the section in the Unreal Editor Editor Engine section, you'll see mod edit packages right here. Take off the semicolon and put our mod's name. This will tell the, the 
editor to start up in our game and our custom mod. Save that, and we're done here. Now, from here, we're gonna open up the editor. Here, now I'm gonna show you some basic tools. Some of the all right. So it just told us that our scripts are outdated because we just finished them. So yes, we wanted to rebuild. So click yes. Now here, UDK will start compiling our all the scripts we just edited. Now, if you followed me up till now and did it right, you'll see our custom game right here, Death Touch, and your mod name, successfully compiled. So, that's how you know your script directory is set up correctly. Let's close this. Now, let's open up the editor. So, this will take a little bit of time depending on the speed of your computer and if you've opened it before. Since this is a fresh install, it's going to take a little bit of time for me. Okay. Here we go. The editor is opening up. Now here you see the tip of the day. Press OK on that one. Now, if you did a, the the bare minimal install, that's by copying over the UDK game zip folders over, you will not have any content. But as you can see, I do. This is simply because I did not use the bare minimal package. Now, I want you to see that you have four viewpoints four viewports. One's left, right, up and down. Well, left left view, right view, and up. Now I want you to first off hit these black arrows going down. Set all viewports to real time. So they'll all update when you modify in one viewport they'll all update in real time for the others. Now I want to um, guide you through some of the simple um, gestures to move the mouse to move each viewport around. So, if you hold down left and right, you can move up and down, and left and right. So, up and down on the Z-axis, 